I have been wanting to review the Lamy Dialogue CC since late 2019 when I first saw it in an internal Lamy catalog that I wasn't supposed to see technically long before its announcement. And after two long years, my departure from Lamy and an international move, I finally have it. Back to Olive Boy Pants. As my little overdramatic monologue at the beginning suggests, I am very excited for today's video. I am a noted retractable nib enjoyer, and it's very clear to me that you all are too, seeing as according to my analytics, the majority of you are here as a result of my capitalist comparison video, in which I featured the Dialogue CC's older sibling, the Dialogue 3. As a hot new addition to the coveted capless pen scene, the Dialogue CC has a lot to prove, and I'm excited to show you guys a close and personal look at it. The Dialogue CC I have today is in the matte blue and rose gold finish. There is also a glossy white and rose gold finish available as well. So, the main story with the CC is its retractability. Like its older, hot dog-sized brother, the Dialogue 3, this Vienna sausage-sized Dialogue twists to open and reveals a 14 karat gold nib. This nib is kept wet with the same ball valve-like mechanism that the Dialogue 3 has, exactly the same, though I will note that it feels a little bit better. Um, I can't really quantify why that is i can't really find anything that you know suggests that the mechanism was improved so right now i'm chalking it up to this is just a newer pen one thing that i think is really smart that they did on this one is um if you'll note on a dialogue three there are these lines that go along the body it's a cool design feature for sure that being said over time the mechanism of the dialogue can get some slop in it and even mine, which is a good example, still the lines don't perfectly, perfectly align. So it's just an extra thing to notice that people start to complain about after a couple years of use. This will not have that problem. You might be able to notice it when you look at how the curve of the bottom lines up, but that's a lot harder to notice than these direct lines, which like the human brain is trained to notice stuff like that and to have it drive us insane. Uh, another thing you might notice while looking at these two pens side by side is that the Dialog CC does not have a clip. Instead of having a clip, the CC has opted to use a roll stop, which, you know, does its job, sort of. <laughs> it could have been a little bigger, I guess, now that I put it down, but, you know, it stopped. I think this was a smart choice considering that the clip on the original Dialog is d nearly useless. If you have a shirt pocket thin enough, to clip this to it then it will be not rigid enough to like keep the pen from wiggling around in your pocket and being obnoxious because this is a super heavy pen so i think the roll stop was a good call it also makes the pen a good bit easier to hold you can really you know get your fingers around it whereas on the dialogue you are pretty blocked by that clip i never minded it that much on the dialogue uh see three uh, but some people did, and it kept them away from the pen, and if that's you, maybe consider giving the CC a look. Back to the nib. This nib is the exact same one that's used on the Lamy Emporium. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell here, but it is a platinum and rose gold two-tone, uh, which I think looks really nice. This was previously used on the rose gold finished Emporium, um, and there are other options available in this style, the Z57. Um, such as a black and gold and a silver and gold, which I will show you right now. I should have taken it out earlier, but I'm a bad YouTuber. So here are the three Emporium styled nibs, or the Z57, I guess, now that they're putting them on non-Emporium pens. But uh, it's a cool looking nib. I hope at some point they uh, decide to put the black and gold on one of these because that would look very fresh and yes, that is an Emporium nib on a Safari, get over it. So, 
To get at the internals of this pen, just simply continue twisting the barrel past the point that it closes, and that will eventually reveal the nib unit. These are not swappable like pilot pens. Um, they are mated to each individual pen. So if you try to put in a different dialogue nib unit into your other dialogue, the, uh, the nib won't line up with the opening. It'll be all weird. But people aren't really doing that, especially because the nibs are swappable. So whatever. Anyway, uh, to get the nib unit out, you just unscrew at the knurled part, and that will reveal the nib unit, which is quite nicely made. Uh, it houses a converter, or you can put in a cartridge, of course, um, and this is how you would fill and clean the writing part of the pen. And that just screws back in nicely. One last thing I'll show you is the little finial here. Uh, which is the nice rose gold plated thing. It picks up smudges pretty easily. Let's see if I can clean that off. Uh, one thing I noticed on my particular model is a little spot of discoloration that is very hard to pick up on camera, I'm now realizing. But uh, I've seen little weirdness in Lamy's rose gold plating for a while now, starting with the rose gold emporium that came out a couple years ago. So when I saw this on the, the floor model at the pen shop that I picked this up at, um, I thought nothing of it, um, and I continue to. It does not bother me. will not live rent-free in my head like it might for some of you. Um, you know, it is a pretty pricey pen, so if that kind of thing will bother you, make sure to check it out before you buy it. To briefly compare uh, size and weight with the Dialog 3, which is its most direct comparison, um, it is quite a bit shorter, which makes it also lighter. The Dialog 3 uh, weighs 47 grams, and the CC weighs 44. Um, the CC is 122 millimeters long closed, whereas the 3 is 139. So, you know, being that they're the same diameter, it really isn't that big of a difference, but it is noticeable also when you put them in their provided leather sleeves. Um, I do find the CC more enjoyable to carry around because this really is like, it's it's a difference. It doesn't seem like it would be that big of a difference, but in a bag or a pocket, you, you can tell. Alrighty, and now for the writing sample. So today we've got the Lamy Dialogue. CC in the blue, rose, gold, in a 14 karat fine nib. Currently using Waterman Black, uh, I realized recently that out of the literally 100 bottles of ink I have, uh, oh god, I wrote blue. See, I, I, this, I had to go out and buy black ink because I wanted to do a drawing with this pen in black ink and I had no black ink, which is nuts. Um, so, let's get to writing. I, as you might imagine, have used a lot of Lamy Gold Nibs, uh, both at work, both you know for business and for pleasure. <laughs> and this is maybe my favorite one. The other one that I had was uh, on a Emporium, and I ended up grinding it down to kind of an architect grind just because it was not very inspiring. But this one is super consistent and super smooth, even on this Midori cotton paper, which is known to be a little bit toothy. Um, you know, it's got a little bounce, like all Lamy Gold Nibs, but I would not push this at all if I were you. But, you know, I'm not your boss. can't make you do anything. But yeah, I have enjoyed drawing with this pen, especially more than the Dialog 3, just because it is a little bit more handy, um, being that it's a little smaller, a little shorter, a little lighter, uh, but still has the benefit of, you know, you can whip it out real quick if you need to jot something down, which is, ooh, which is really nice in my opinion. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> so
So with all that said and done, what's the deal with the Dialog CC? First of all, I have no idea what the CC means. I have looked it up on Lamy's website. I've looked all over. There's just, it's just what it's called. So enjoy it. Maybe it's the capless captain. That's what we're calling it now. Besides that fact, uh, I think the Dialog CC is pretty much in every way just a straight upgrade to the Dialog 3. Uh, the clip on the Dialog 3 was pretty much useless. I didn't have any shirts that were like able to clip to it or jackets or anything. I mean, it's kind of telling that they also made it with a similar leather sleeve to the CC. So having a roll stop instead that makes it easier to hold and as useful in the pocket is just a much better move in my opinion. I don't know how I feel about the aesthetics of the roll stop, that being said. I don't know how I feel about the logo being there, but you know, it's it's still an upgrade in my opinion. I think that the color choices are lovely. I'm looking forward to more. The ones that I've thought of that would be pretty sick would be like a matte green with the shiny black trim from like the Studio Lux or a glossy red with gold trim. I'm thinking that seeing as Lamy opened with rose gold trim, they're probably going to go with more fun color options. Um, whereas like other pens have gone the opposite direction from like more conservative colors to a rose gold trimmed version like the Emporium did. I'm excited to see what the future holds for this pen. The nib uh, is really, really nice. As I said, um, I was kind of blown away by it, frankly. I've had plenty of Lamy gold nibs in my time of pretty much every size, and this is one of my favorite ones by far. I'm really not sure if that's just good luck or if it's anything having to do with the pen itself, but it's worth mentioning. I have heard some people, uh, specifically on Reddit, complaining about this pen having a nib that skips, but, you know, your mileage may vary on that one. It's always recommended to try a pen before you buy it. If not, find a retailer that's got good return policy. If you love the Dialog, you are going to love this pen. It's done everything that the Dialog has done, but better. Um, if you only like the Dialog, I still recommend that you try this pen because the things that you might not like about the dialogue could have been improved on this pen. So, long story short, try it out. That being said, this pen retails for about 30 euros more or about $50 more than the Dialogue 3, so it is a little bit pricier. Um, to me, if you don't already have a Dialogue, this would be the one to go for. Um, I say this, of course, with multiple <laughs> Dialogues to my name, but, I stand by that. Um, I, I don't see a reason to own both of those pens unless you are a retractable nib enjoyer, TM. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this look at this clicky boy. And uh, yeah, my intro music, as always, is made by little, my little brother, Sebastian, uh, who goes by Bassy on uh, Twitch and Spotify and Apple Music. I'll put all his info below. He makes some excellent stuff. Um, and if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe. I won't know if you don't, but I will know if you do in my heart of hearts. <laughs> anyway, folks, thanks so much again, and I will see you next time. <laughs>